we're gonna start our tour of Pirate's Lair on Tom Sawyer Island, right here on the stage where Mickey performs for Fantasmic. This stage did not exist when Tom Sawyer Island opened originally in 1956. This stage was added in 1992. The park did a complete remodel of this end of the island in order to add this stage for the new show in 1992 called Fantasmic, which is still here today. This is the stage that Mickey performs and all of the action, the main area is right here on this stage. We made it to Lafitte's Tavern, which formerly was known as Harper's Mill, which was a part of the island when it originally opened. When they renamed it Lafitte's Tavern in 2007 when they did the remodel for Pirates of the Caribbean and changed the name to Pirate's Lair on Tom Sawyer's Island, this actually became a safe haven for pirates where they could stow their weapons and head inside to weather the storm. We've made it to the W. Turner blacksmith shop. This is actually where the character Will Turner from Pirates of the Caribbean is first introduced on the island. This actually has a lot of items that you would see in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies on display so that you can see them here. The bridge is closed, so we're not able to go across it and show you, but Phil is at least going to get a shot of it from over here so you can see it. This is Tom Sawyer's Treehouse on Tom Sawyer's Island. It has actually been here since the opening of the island, but guests have never been able to go up inside. You can just view it from down below. We've made it to Smuggler's Cove. This area originally existed as Tom Sawyer's Island, but it received an extreme makeover in 2007 when there was a change and this was called Pirate's Lair on Tom Sawyer Island. It included the addition of the bone cage, which is a photo opportunity, and these bilge pumps. This area is really interactive for the kids and you can actually pump the water even. The site, what they are suggesting this is, is the site of a shipwreck of a small vessel, which is seen right here, most of the way under the water, and all of the skeletons of the pirates aboard are still down below. In this area, when it's working, normally you can spin this the ship it will lift up a treasure chest full of money but the sign says sorry it's not working today We've made it to Castle Rock, which sits up high on Tom Sawyer's Island. This has been here since the opening of Tom Sawyer's Island, and it's called a lookout point. There are telescopes available so that you can see different areas of frontier land and critter country. Let's go check it out. All right, we're gonna take the stairs down. Come on. Wow.
We've made it to the bottom of Castle Rock. Fort Wilderness was part of the original Tom Sawyer Island and it opened in 1956 here. It actually stayed open and guests could go inside and it was very interactive. However, it was closed in 2007 and never reopened due to termite damage and a lot of damage from weather over the years. This is now an area that is only for cast members and they actually use it for a break room. One of the best things about Tom Sawyer's Island are the caves. You have to go through the caves. This is actually Dead Man's Grotto, formerly known as Injun Joe's Cave. Injun Joe's Cave was part of the original design that was opened in 1956, but this was changed to Dead Man's Grotto to fit into the Pirates of the Caribbean theme in 2007. We're gonna head over there and find the treasure. Come on. You have to hike the entire island all the way to the end in order to find the pirate's treasure. There are numerous caves on the island and they're all really great to go inside some of them have steps going up or down, and some of them just start on one side and take you down to the other side, but they're all very interesting to explore. We've made it all the way around the island and back to the raft landing. We're gonna head back across. As we travel back to the mainland, this will complete our tour of Pirate's Lair on Tom Sawyer Island. I hope you enjoyed it. They have so many interesting things to see if you head across. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching our video. Bye. Mark ye well that all who sail the sea must one day answer to the call.